Hey guys, it's Sasha and today I'm here with another recent reads video. I'm going to be leaving in the description all the books that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So if there's a particular book you want to really know my thoughts about, just click on the time thing next to that. Okay, the first book I'm going to be talking to you about is The Rose Society by Marie Lu, which I do not actually have with me because I borrowed it from a friend. And let me just say, that is the second book in the Young Elites trilogy, I believe it's going to be. And wow, that book was that book was pure gold. Uh, Marie Lu is an incredible author. Her plot, her characters, they're all they're always really well developed and they always have great depth to them. I stayed up really late to finish this book because it had less than 100 pages left and I was like, I'm going to power through. And after I finished the book, my mind was swimming with just the whole plot, the characters. I couldn't really go to sleep after I finished the book. This was such a morally gray book, which I really did enjoy. There's no specifically set bad guy and good guy because the main character is not all that good. She's done some really horrible things, but obviously she's the main character and usually we root for the main character. They're supposed to be the good guy. But the other people who are like, who are not necessarily the bad guys have also done some good and horrible things. So it's like, who is really the good guy and who is really the bad guy here? I can't really say what because it's going to be so spoilery, but watching throughout the plot this happen and the descent into it happening was just so well written. I cannot tell you how well written it was. I love the, how they have interchangeable points of view so that we can see what's going on with the other characters. Mostly we see from the main characters Adeline's perspective, but when we see from the other characters' perspective, I also really enjoyed that as well, and I rated this book four stars. The next book I'm going to be talking talking to you about is My Light at the End of the Tunnel by Helen Bowers as told by Faye Chaban. And first of all, let me say a tunnel is referenced way too many times in this book to be to be really necessary. Yes, the title is My Light at the End of the Tunnel, but the amount of times a tunnel is referenced, the amount of time she talks about she's out of the tunnel for a little bit, I cannot tell you that was really annoying. That was one of the most annoying points in this book for me to be honest. I did not really enjoy this narration. A lot of bad things happen to the main character in here, Helen. Now this is a true story, but sometimes I do feel like she blamed other people a little too much for the stuff happening to her. Like it like some of it was in her control and I just felt like I just felt like she put a little bit too much blame on other people when, you know, sometimes we can also affect what is happening to us. I did like learning more about the orphanage through Helen's point of view, but other than that, I didn't really get much out of this book. It was a short book. It was a short and quick read. I rated this book two stars. Next thing I'm going to be talking about is At the Altar, Matrimony Tales by L.M. Montgomery. And I obviously, I love, it. first of all, I'm just saying, once again, I love L.M. Montgomery. I love her writing style. I feel like she writes her, her, all of her stories are written really like, whimsically and just I really just like the feel of them. Now this is a book of 19 short stories I believe, 19. I do have, I did a little review on all of them on Goodreads so if you want to really know more about like my thoughts on each of the stories just you can check me out on Goodreads. Overall did enjoy this book. Some of the stories were uh, and some of the stories were really good and I rated it three stars. The next book I'm going to be talking to you about is Queen by Ride by Anne Easter Smith. I did overall enjoy the book. I liked learning more about the beginning parts of the Rose War. My sentiments towards this book were very mixed. I felt like Cecily all was portrayed as, you know, a character who's beautiful, who can do no wrong. Her husband Richard and her are in love all the time, every time they see each other. I felt like the political um, landscape of this was a little too black and white. You know, York is good, Lancaster is bad, and then, you know, those who side with York are good, and then those who 
side with Lancaster or Bat. And let me just say one pet peeve of mine, Leslie's obsession with Joan of Arc was just way too much for me. I did not like that part. She was referenced way too many times in this book to be good. Now I've seen, I think on Goodreads, that some of these historical facts are not all that accurate, but I mean this is historical fiction, so I cannot really say that I came into here expecting all of the historical facts to be accurate, but I would have at least liked the ones that we know about to be accurate. So yes, that made me a little mad as well. I would have genuinely like to see Cele Cecily's life past her son Edward the fourth coronation because it gets a lot it gets really juicy past that part in her life she gets accused by some of her sons of adultery and you know her children squabble amongst each other for the crown and I really would have liked to see her perspective from that part I felt like it would have been somewhat more interesting since than some of the other parts that they had shown in this book so I was a little disappointed with that but on the whole I did enjoy this book I rated this book three stars the last book I'm gonna be talking about in this recent reads video is the grapes of wrath by John Steinbeck I had to read this book for school everywhere you look people are in need people are suffering there wasn't really any happy people in this book per se there might have been glimpses of joy and happiness but I wouldn't really say anybody was truly happy in this book my favorite character of all was Ma I really loved her spirit and personality and how she strives to keep the family together I really liked learning more about 1930s America I don't really read about it all the time like that so I did enjoy this book for that and I didn't really have many really clear concise thoughts on this book I thought that it was a good read a good story and I rated this book three stars that is all for now and I'll catch y'all later don't forget to check out my book alert and all my other social media links they'll be in the description down below bye